Natalia Dean Walker says he was so proud to be Savannah's dad. And even though it's such a painful time, he's sharing with us a little bit about his daughter. Hundreds of people panicked after someone opened fire inside the Tim Faulkner gallery. Three friends among them. It was just chaos going for the doors, as you would expect. And when the girls got outside, they didn't see Savannah. 20-year-old Savannah Walker and two friends had decided to check out a concert earlier in the night. A few hours later, it was those two friends who called Dean Walker and told him to rush to Tim Faulkner Gallery. So I spent the next three and a half hours standing by a yellow tape. And the longer you stand, the more you know. Witnesses say Savannah was looking out for others in her last moments. Savannah pushed people down and she took a shot directly to the chest. I mean, because she, she always thought about other people. Savannah was a lacrosse player, debate team member. She and her brother were adopted, so her family is reflective of many cultures. And that was reflected in how she led her life. Someone who never judged anybody by their skin color by how much money they had. <laughs> she judged people in character. <laughs> For Dean Walker, one unimaginable loss comes in the wake of another. Savannah's mom died 30 days ago from pancreatic cancer, but he's still taking the time to inspire change, to share a message. We need to have the backbone to stand up for our community, to stand up for our kids. Don't shut your door when you see something that's going on. When you saw something, tell somebody that needs to know about it so something can change. His message is to be more than a bystander, to reach out to those who are in pain, to live a bit like Savannah. I've never been one to vocalize stuff as she taught me how. And, you know, hug your kids more tonight. That's it. And the Walker family all has education in common. Savannah's mom was a teacher, so instead of flowers, the Walker family has set up a scholarship fund. And we have a link to that over on Wave3.com. Reporting live in the studio, Casey Cunningham, Wave3 News.